Bobtail searching for SA's next top dog. Get the unique code on pack and send in a picture of your best friend. Viewers often ask where Bob lives. Here's a day in the life of SA's favorite pet, from waking at his home a few minutes away from the office to meeting Auntie Mina, his trainer. Bob's day does start early. There's no two ways about that. But let's not forget that an animal hunts with sunrise and sunset. So these are optimum hours for a dog. You'd think he'd work for two, three hours in the morning while they're actually shooting. He doesn't. He works in short bursts. So he's on set in front of camera, does a little bit of work, and then he's off camera and he goes into his little box for chill time. When he's in there, he knows that's it. He can do his own thing and time to chill so that he's not constantly focused for three hours on a go because no dog could do that. You'll notice that nothing is forced on Bob either. There are times that he doesn't quite like sitting with some of the presenters. I don't force him to do that. In time, what we'll do is develop a pattern that works for him that he's comfortable with. If you start holding a dog to stay on set, he's gonna start avoiding that and wanting to jump off. Auntie started training Bob for the spotlight when he was two months old. Of course, he's a natural, true to his breed that's known to be friendly yet polite. So yeah, we've just finished the show and as you can see, celebrities all abound, but I think the biggest celebrity of all is Bob. That's why you can't see him every, anywhere. He's actually busy signing autographs with DJ Black Coffee taking photos. It's a dog's life, man. He wakes up very early in the morning. He works hard. I must say, don't get it wrong, Bob works just as hard as the rest of us on this show. And he's a brilliant member of the family. Lovely to have him here and, uh, you know, learn a bit of the French accent with him. With Bob. Every morning there's this photo opportunity with Bob and I always try and tweet pictures of him because he's always doing something cute, something silly, something normal. Naughty, but you know what? Viewers love it and they love to see the antics that he gets up to. A show is never complete until he arrives. Bob kind of owns this place. So when he walks in here, whether it's exercise segment or whether we're just chilling on the couch for couch potato, he makes every domain kind of his own. He's really part of the family. He's our little brother. He always has that moment where he just steals everybody's hearts. We love him. I don't know what the show would be without him. Ever since Bob has actually joined our Expresso family, it has been absolutely amazing. There are some some days when I wake up in the morning and I am having the most horrendous day and all I have to do is just grab Bob, cuddle with him, hold him a bit, give him a bit of a kiss and then I'm feeling better and it's amazing the effect that animals actually have on people. I think the first for its kind having an animal on a live set, it has been absolutely awesome to have him here with us. Thank you so much for always making our mornings the best ever. Bob has his favorite spot to chill out in the production office between walks. In the evenings, it's back home with his owner and the show's producer, Bradley van der Berg. Afternoons are a fun affair in this household. He leaves too early, so I don't feed him in the morning. He eats at the studio. So the afternoon time is two cats wanting their food, Bobby wanting their food. Come, boy. Come, eat it. Bob's certainly king of the household. Early evenings are spent playing with his toys and then it's off to an early night in a comfy bed. So my friends always laugh at me because I spend hours in my herb garden, but I actually don't cook that much, I never use it. But I say that the herbs feed Bobby because he ultimately destroys every herb I've got. When he was a puppy, I bought a brand new side table made of wood. I went to upstairs and came back downstairs and he literally had nibbled away at every part of the wood. I've always liked the idea about having plants in the bedroom that he actually ate every single plant he was. So I had to actually hang all the plants from the ceiling so he couldn't get to it. This is evidence. Nothing is Bob proof. A lot of people ask, where does Bob sleep? It's the biggest question that comes on Facebook. Well, the truth is, you're looking at it right here. Bob has a basket, but he insists on sleeping on the bed. And you know, Auntie and I have this biggest fight all the time. Got to teach Bobby to sleep on the floor. Well, with a cute face like this, Bobby, you can never sleep on the floor. I've always been a bit of a cat's person and bringing Bob into my life has completely changed it. I, I don't think I quite knew what to expect. Yes, he's a little bit of a brat and he demands my attention all day. I go upstairs, he cries. Um, I can't just go out when I want to because I always have to worry about Bob. Well, the reality is, I wouldn't want it any other way. Is your dog a top dog like Bob? Enter your best friend in Bobtail's search for SA's top dog. Like the Bobtail page on Facebook to follow the exciting competition. 
Bobtail searching for SA's next top dog to be the face of the brand. Up for grabs are a starring role for your dog in Bobtail's next billboard campaign, a live interview with you and your dog on Expresso, plus a two-night stay at the 12 Apostles Hotel and Spa for the winner and their winning dog. To enter, simply upload a picture of your dog doing something amazing onto Bobtail's website and enter the unique code found on promotional Bobtail packs. Like their page on Facebook to follow the competition. Also, stay tuned to Expresso for weekly sneak peeks at the entries and help Bobtail choose SA's top dog. Bobtail, for strong South African dogs. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.